Hello everyone, and welcome to the third chair melee chain grab guides. Today, we'll be going over Luigi's up throw chain grabs on Fox, Falco, and Captain Falcon, as well as his down throw semi chain grabs on Sheik, Ganon, Bowser, Yoshi, DK, Young Link, Link, Pichu, Pikachu, Roy, Fox, Falco, and Captain Falcon. Luigi's chain grabs are very unique in both execution and follow-ups, but are quite hard to perform, so let's get started. We'll begin by going over a little bit about Luigi's grabs and throws in detail. Luigi should always jump cancel his grab. This is due to the fact that his dash grab is 4 frames slower on startup and has 10 extra frames of lag if the grab whiffs. Also, all of Luigi's throws are affected by character weight. That means that Luigi will have slightly different timing for when he can start to move on his up and down throw, depending on the character thrown. For example, Luigi is able to move a lot faster after throwing Sheik than after throwing Ganon. With that out of the way, let's move on to Luigi's up throw chain grabs, starting with Fox. Luigi has a very interesting up throw chain grab on Fox, going from 0 to 68% regardless of DI, and up to 110% on bad DI. Luigi also has some great follow-ups, making this chain grab turn into a nice potential 0 to death, although it is pretty difficult. As Luigi's up throw naturally sends Fox behind him, this chain grab is a bit different than most. For no DI, Luigi can re-grab from 0 to 80%. From 0 to 45%, he just needs a turnaround grab, while from 45 to 80%, he will need to do a turnaround dash jump cancel grab. You can end this with either a jump, sweet spot up B, an up smash, a fair, or a dare for big damage. For away DI, Luigi can re-grab from 0 to 68%. From 0 to 50%, he can just do a standing regrab. However, from 50 to 68%, he will need to do a small walking regrab instead. You have the same follow ups here that you do on no DI. For behind DI, Luigi can regrab from 0 to 45% and 55 to 110%, but you can get a combo regrab at 45 to 55%. From 0 to 45%, Luigi just needs to quickly turn around dash jump cancel regrab. Quick reactions are needed for this, making this pretty difficult. From 45 to 55%, Luigi has to go for a wave dash up tilt regrab. This is required as Fox gets sent too far for a running grab and hits the ground too early for a wave dash grab. You want to hit with the early backwards part of the up tilt, and Luigi can regrab in either direction afterwards. From 55 to 110%, Luigi can start going for wave dash regrabs. It is possible to go for wave dash up tilt regrabs as well here, but it is not required to get the regrab. You can end this with a wave dash attack follow up, although if Fox goes off stage, you can't really follow up that easily. Very similar to Fox, Luigi has a great up throw chain grab on Falco, going from 0 to 68% regardless of DI and up to 110% on bad DI. Luigi also has some great finishers, making this chain grab also into a very likely 0 to death, although the execution is pretty difficult. Luigi can re grab from 0 to 90%. From 0 to 45%, he just needs to turn around grab, while from 45 to 90%, he will need to do a turnaround dash jump cancel grab. You can end this with a fair or a dare quite easily. For away DI, Luigi can regrab from 0 to 68%. From 0 to 50%, he can do a standing regrab. However, from 50 to 68%, he will need to do a small walk regrab instead. You can end this with an up B or any aerial follow up that you want. For behind DI, Luigi can regrab from 0 to 45% and 55 to 110%. Once again, from 45 to 55%, Luigi has to go for a combo regrab to continue the chain grab. From 0 to 45%, Luigi just needs to quickly turn around dash jump cancel regrab. This is slightly easier than it is on Fox, but it is still difficult. From 45 to 55%, Luigi has to go for a wave dash up tilt regrab. This is required as Falco gets sent too far for a running grab and hits the ground too early for a wave dash grab. You want to hit with the early backwards part of the up tilt, and Luigi can regrab in either direction afterwards. From 55 to 110%, Luigi can start going for wave dash regrabs. It is also still possible to go for wave dash up tilt regrabs as well but you don't need to. You can end this with a wave dash attack of your choice, but again, if Falco goes off stage, you can't really follow up that easily. Luigi has an interesting up throw chain grab on Falcon that is powerful, but never fully guaranteed as Falcon can always DI a certain way to escape, depending on the percent. The good news is, is that Falcon can always be hit with a nice combo instead, regardless of DI, so doing the chain grab until he DI's correctly and then comboing is a great option to go for. For no DI, Luigi can chain grab from 0 to 64%. For 0 to 37%, he just needs a turnaround regrab, and from 37 to 64%, he needs to do a turnaround dash jump cancel regrab. You can end this with any aerial of your choosing. For away DI, Luigi can chain grab from 0 to 57%. From 0 to 40%, he just needs to do a standing regrab, but from 40 to 57%, he will need to do a walk regrab. You can also end this with any aerial follow up or an up B. 
For behind the eye, Luigi can chain grab from 75 to 100%. He will need to do wave dash re grabs for the entire percent range. You can finish this chain grab with a wave dash forward smash. Getting into the down throw chain grabs, we have Luigi's down throw semi chain grab on Ganon. This chain grab is always escapable if Ganon DI's behind Luigi. However, Luigi can re grab from 0 to 25% on no DI and 0 to 46% on away DI. For no DI, from 0 to 13%, Luigi needs a turnaround re grab. For 13 to 25%, he will need to do a turnaround dash jump cancel re grab instead. You can up tilt to aerial at the end of this chain grab. For away DI, from 0 to 46%, Luigi can just turnaround re grab. He can also just do a standing re grab from 0 to 13% if he chooses to. You can end this with an up smash or an up tilt into an aerial. Our next chain grab is Luigi's down throw semi chain grab on Sheik. Sadly, this chain grab is not true, as Sheik can escape at any point by doing DI behind. However, if she does not do this, the chain grab is pretty powerful. For no DI, Luigi can re grab from 0 to 108%. From 0 to 20%, he can do a turnaround re grab, and from 20 to 108%, he needs to do a turnaround dash jump cancel re grab. You can end this easily with a running short hop aerial of your choosing, with dare or fair usually being the best choices at high percents. For away DI, Luigi can re-grab from 0 to 50% by doing a turnaround re-grab. You can end this similar to Ganon with an up smash or an up tilt into an aerial of your choosing. Luigi's down throw chain grab on Bowser is a small chain grab that is only true on away DI from 7 to 29%. Bowser can escape doing any other option. For away DI, Luigi can re-grab from 7 to 29% by doing a standing re-grab. You can end this with an up tilt and then try to catch Bowser's jump with an aerial. Luigi's down throw chain grab on Yoshi is another small chain grab that is only true for away DI as well, but can go from 0 to 40%, which isn't that bad. For away DI, Luigi can re-grab from 0 to 40% by doing a turnaround re-grab. This can easily be followed with an up smash. Luigi's down throw chain grab on DK is similar to the previous two chain grabs, where it is only true in away DI, but can go from 0 to 45%. For away DI, Luigi can re-grab from 0 to 27% by doing a standing re-grab and from 27 to 45% by doing a turnaround re-grab. This can also easily be ended with an up smash. Moving back to slightly more practical chain grabs, Luigi's down throw chain grab on Young Link can range from 0 to 56%, but Young Link can escape any time by doing behind DI. For away DI, Luigi can re-grab from 0 to 49% by doing a turnaround re-grab. You can easily end this with an up smash, a fair, or a dare. For no DI, Luigi can re-grab from 0 to 56% by doing a turnaround dash jump cancel re-grab. This is pretty quick, but not super difficult. You can end this with a fair. Luigi's down throw chain grab on Link is a large but difficult chain grab that can start as low as 0% and go as high as 136%. Link can also escape at any point by doing behind DI. For away DI, Luigi can re-grab from 0 to 80% by doing a turnaround re-grab. This is a bit difficult at low percents, but it gets easier as it goes on. You can end this with an up smash or an aerial. For no DI, Luigi can re-grab from 33% to 136%. This is very difficult as you need to hit your smash turn and be very quick on reactions and execution, and it doesn't get much easier as time goes on. You can end this with a running short hop fair. Luigi's down throw chain grab on Pichu is a strong chain grab that goes from 0 up to possibly 80% depending on DI. Pichu can escape by doing DI behind, however. For away DI, Luigi can re grab from 0 to 60% by doing a turnaround re grab. This can easily be followed up with an up smash or aerial of your choice. For no DI, Luigi can re-grab from 0 to 80% by doing a turnaround dash jump cancel re-grab. While a quick throw, this isn't too difficult. You can end this with a fair or a dare with a chance to kill Pichu near the ledge. Luigi's down throw chain grab on Pikachu is similar to his chain grab on Pichu, but it is a bit smaller in percent range. Pikachu can escape at any point with behind DI as well. For away DI, Luigi can re-grab from 0 to 40% by doing a turnaround re-grab. This can easily be followed up with an up smash or a quick aerial. For no DI, Luigi can re-grab from 0 to 80% by doing a turnaround dash jump cancel re-grab. This is pretty similar in difficulty to no DI versus Pichu. This can easily be followed up with a running short hop fair. Luigi's down throw chain grab on Broy is a larger chain grab, similar to Sheik, as it can go up to 100%. 
Roy as well can escape at any time with behind DI. For away DI, Luigi can regrab from 0 to 80% by doing a turnaround regrab. This can easily be followed up with an up smash or a quick aerial, both which set up nicely for a potential kill on the next hit. For no DI, Luigi can regrab from 0 to 100% by doing a turnaround dash jump cancel regrab. This can easily be followed up with a running short hop fair, which sends Roy very nicely into an edge guard situation in most cases. Finally, we will get into a few of Luigi's ridiculous down throw chain grabs. These are both very impractical and extremely hard to use. In this case, Luigi can down throw chain grab Fox in a range from 30% to over 300%, but sadly, Fox can escape at any point with behind DI. For away DI, Luigi can regrab from 30 to 250% by doing a turnaround regrab. This is much easier than no DI, but it is still tough, especially at lower percents. You can end this with basically any move you like, but Up Smash is able to cover the entire range, even near the end where you're waiting for a decent while for Fox to come back down. For no DI, Luigi can regrab from 85% to 300% plus by doing a turnaround dash jump cancel regrab. This is actually extremely difficult, being one of the hardest chain grabs in the entire game to get fully. I could not manage to get a full recording of this chain grab, although it would have been a lot easier with UCF and on a real setup. You can end this with a running aerial, a down smash, or a wave dash down smash depending on how far Fox is. For an even more impractical and crazy chain grab, Luigi can down throw chain grab Falco in a range from 13 to over 300%, but sadly, Falco can also escape at any point with behind DI. For away DI, Luigi can regrab from 13 to 250% by doing a turnaround regrab. This is easier than no DI, but it is still quite tough, especially at lower percents. You can also just end this with basically any move you like, but Up Smash is able to cover the entire range just like it could on Fox and is your best killing option by far. For no DI, Luigi can regrab from 63% to 300% onward by doing a turnaround dash jump cancel regrab. This is again extremely difficult, being only a little easier than it is on Fox. For this chain grab, Luigi has to eventually do quite a bit of running before his regrab at higher percents. You never need to wave dash, but you can if you really want to style. You can end this with a down smash at lower percents and a running fair at higher percents. Onto Luigi's final chain grab, his down throw chain grab on Falcon. Luigi can only down throw chain grab Falcon in a range from 34 to 220%, and again, Falcon can escape at any point with behind DI. For away DI, Luigi can regrab from 34 to 150% by doing a turnaround regrab. Compared to Fox and Falco, this is a pretty easy chain grab to cover. You can end this with a nice up smash, which will kill Falcon quite easily on any stage, and is by far your best follow up on this DI. For no DI, Luigi can regrab from 90% to 220% by doing a turnaround dash jump cancel regrab. This is pretty difficult as Falcon is decently heavy, so it may look like he is up in the air for a while, but Luigi does not have that much time to get to him once he is able to move. You can end this chain grab with an aerial, all of which can kill, or you can just go for a back throw if somehow your opponent chooses to never DI this throw. And with that, we have covered every possible Luigi chain grab in Super Smash Bros. Melee. Hopefully you learned something and enjoyed this video. And if you want to add some information on what you like to do with Luigi's chain grabs, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.